Hello friends, I decided I would do that video on mugwort. So I have a lovely um, glass of mugwort tea here that I'm enjoying. Mugwort is traditionally known as a herb that protects the spirit, protects us from evil. In modern context, that might just be nurturing some sort of protection around our energy system, our chakras, our spirit. Certainly it has that tradition. So people along the road must have felt mugwort protected them from evil spirits. Today, it's still associated with that protection. It's also very good for the nervous system. It's a nervine. And nervines are, are herbs that support uh, issues like stress and anxiety and even depression. So mugwort is a powerful herb, really. It's also an amenagog, which is a herb that helps to stimulate blood flow in the menstrual region for women to promote uh, healthy menstruation and healthy cycles. It's also a bitter, so it's good for digestion. And I've done a course on bitters. As you probably know at this stage, link is in the description. If you want to know more about that, bitters really are important and we're discovering more and more important the importance of bitters uh, for digestion and how they work, uh, stimulating the polyvagal nervous system, which is the, just a, a network of nerves in the gut area that link the, the mind and body that is also often disconnected when we are disconnected from what our bodies, we're disconnected from what we think and what we feel and we eat and numb ourselves in, in that case. So mugwort is a really staple uh, herb that you should have in your press to have a little ritual. I, I made this tea with my, some of my uh, crystals, um, made it feel more connected with the tea, more connected with the energy of the tea. And you do what you need to do, build a routine into your day and have different herbal teas throughout your day. Certainly mugwort is one, maybe for the weekend, if you have rituals around spirituality, mugwort could be a nice tea. If you're struggling with, um, negativity or um, what they call um, vampires, emotional vampires or people draining your energy. Maybe you need a few crystals and a bit of mugwort tea and a bit of sage. You can also burn mugwort work actually. Um, there's a very good uh, Herbal Jedi on YouTube has a very good video on, on mugwort. Uh, I'll link it here because he's out in the open in this Japanese garden where he has great access to, to my word. Unfortunately, I live in the city, so you're not going to get a lot of that herbal foraging, foraging for me. Occasionally, I can get down the countryside. So that's it for today on my word. Um, I really appreciate you engaging me in the comments, and people have been sharing a lot in the last video, particularly around Mullen. A few more comments to get back to, but let me know in the comments if you've tried my word, what you're feeling about my word, um, and any other herbs you want me to address in a video very soon. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your mug work. I'm going to enjoy this one. Slancha, as we say in Ireland.